Hey, Lake Travis Prayer Room Gatekeepers. It's the month of August 2020, and I want to come to you with an encouragement from Romans 12, 12. Romans 12, 12 says this. It says, rejoicing in hope, patient in tribulation, continuing steadfastly in prayer. Rejoicing in hope patient in tribulation, and continuing steadfastly in prayer. This is the charge from Paul to the church in Rome in Romans 12, 12. When I was going through the old gatekeeper logs, I had to, yesterday I had to change out the gatekeeper logs and get some new logs in. And as I was going through them, I couldn't help but to think about that last part of Romans 12, 12, where Paul charges us to continue steadfastly in prayer. And as I was going through this, seeing all the names, seeing all the times, seeing all the dates, I couldn't help but to think how steadfast you guys as gatekeepers have been since last uh, October was the last date before I changed them last, October 2019. So guys, this is, it just encouraged my heart. All these pages, all these names, all these times. And I just want to encourage you guys, you have fulfilled the last part of Romans 12, 12 to continue steadfastly in prayer. And I believe if we do the last part of Romans 12, 12, the third part, the first two parts will be promised to us in our hearts, in our lives, in our families, and even in our communities as we build our faith and pray for greater spheres of influence. So yes, Romans 12, 12, rejoicing in hope, patient in tribulation, continuing steadfastly in prayer. So rejoicing in hope is promised as we stay steadfast in prayer. We're going to be a hopeful, rejoicing, happy people as we continue steadfastly in prayer. And we're also going to be patient in tribulation. There's been a lot of tribulation that has come upon us that we've never experienced before over the last six months. New trials, new pressures, new tribulations, and more are going to come. That's promised in the scripture. But what's the key to being patient, enduring, persevering through tribulation? Continuing steadfastly in prayer. So let's fill up another whole round of sheets the next time I change this. And let's stay encouraged. Let's stay steadfast in the place of prayer, intimacy, worship, relationship with Jesus. It's so worth it. And it means so much to him, means so much to us. Keep it up, guys.